Hello and good morning again and welcome back to Spiritfarer. Where we're supposed to bring Estrid to the Everdor and I suppose also Ata will soon join the crew of go going to the Everdor. So we'll see whether we'll have a double delivery to the Everdor today. I think the olive tree that I planted has to be watered. Yes. Don't forget to do that at least once a day. And as soon... Oh, I think I forgot to pull the ring to ring the bell of awakening. Oh, that's already ready. Okay. Put in some more garlic then. And harvest the sunflower seeds. Ah. The detection of where the game wants to aim is somehow sometimes very late. And I already clicked and then it switches to the other side. But we need to go forward now. And speak to the seal, because we want to travel towards the Everdor. Also, we uh, also did want to uh, fish another mackerel, <laughs> because we accidentally sold the stuff that we're supposed to try to smelt in the foundry. I don't know which else will be able. Uh, maybe we'll just get a few junk items and uh, do that then. And let's take our course to the Everdor to get rid of Astrid. Uh, I'm not really feeling too good about that. Oh! Six ready to be harvested. That's interesting that they put the silk with the trees, which makes total sense. Stella. Mm -hmm. Oh, we finally arrived. I feel so weak. Can we go now? Yes. Okay, let's do this. I can't hold it any longer. So nobody... No, everybody moves over here. But I think we are ready to just set... Uh, uh, go into the by boat without doing our normal stuff. Yeah. Astrid will be here. I don't think it's wise to live that long, Munchkin. Good thing I've never been that wise. But boy, am I old. And being this old is disappointing. You just end up being ugly on the outside and rotten on the inside and hurt so much. Life is suffering. It is hard. The world is cursed. But still, you find reasons to keep on living. And it's important that you find those reasons, because they are there. Look around and find them. I don't regret a thing, you know. I don't regret the struggles. I don't regret the hardships, the pain, the sorrow. I've seen so much of it, but still, I don't regret what I've done or how I've lived my life. I just wish the world had been a better place. A better place for them, for us, but surely a better place for you, my dear. I feel like a vast vessel with so many dusty rooms and cabins. I have so many of them, so many memories. Some of them are gone. But some of them, some of them will live on forever. In you, in others. I assume that we're doing this journey because we ourselves aren't ready. And thus, by helping others, we get ready at some point. Ready to go through that door ourselves. Okay, when we're done with Astrid... Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember their faces as they trembled in fear. I remember their houses and the parties they threw. I remember their songs and their love. I remember their touch, their warmth. It's all fading away now, Munchkin. It's fading away. It's all grey, all white, all foggy. No, It's not good to feel depressed about your life when it ends. I hope I don't feel like that when I'm old. Currently I'm young and I'm feeling quite okay-ish about mm -hmm. my life. 
Is it all gone already? I don't see much anymore. You're still with me, here with me, aren't you? You're still here, Stella. Don't you forget about me, please. I don't care about anyone else, but you, you don't forget about me, I'm telling you. I'll come back and haunt you if you do. I can feel it coming. Goodbye, Stella. Just follow your heart and keep smiling. I won't forget about you, Astrid. <clears throat> As I won't forget about Alice and Gwen, who we are already brought here. And Giovanni. And who else? I can't remember. And goodbye, Astrid. Now we'll see her sign. Will it look like the other? The uh, Giovanni sign as a line didn't really match what I thought would a lo line would look like. This a bit more. This could be uh, not a line, but uh, like these wildcats with the uh, hairs on the tip, on the upper tip of their ears. Uh, what are they called? Are those cougars? Those might be cougars in English. In German, it's Lux. L U L U C H S. Getting a spirit flower and thus continuing because we have that spirit flower we can continue going towards Albert's place. Before that we're gonna take some more botted ectoplasm after harvesting the celery of course. Da -da -da. Ecto oh god, stop going out of the ship please this here. Start the event? Yes. They're trying to flee from me. Oh, and they're fleeing upwards, which is a stressful thing because they are quite far away from us now. We want to go here. Yeah. That worked quite well. Oh god. Should have known that what they were doing there. Oh, there were more over there. Ah, missed one. Ah, stop missing them. I hope I don't have to catch them all. No, we don't. Okay, we got botted ectoplasm. Uh, we need crystal glass sheets. For that we have to go up to the forge and see on what we are behind material-wise. Crystal glass sheets. Uh, we have enough. We need five more silica powder. For that we go to the crusher. Crusher. Five more silica powder. Five of them. It's just a button mashing game. I don't really like this. It's just all of these busy work things are taking a bit too much time. I'd like like a thing when you are almost done with the game to to automate a lot of what's happening. That would really be nice. We got some wheat flour and a clam. That I didn't try to grab, but okay. To Albert's place. Six crystal glass sheets. That's what we are also having to do. Six of them. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. First, to Albert. Is it even Albert? I'm second guessing myself with Albert or Alfred and I have no idea why because I don't remember playing a game lately that has an Alfred in it and it's been an eternity since I played any 
Oh, we put in two times garlic instead of sunflower seeds. Must have been the the power of uh, the power of uh, being used to do one thing and then do the same thing again. Um, up there. Crystal glass sheets. Six of them. We need six of them. Oh god, it's taking a while. Okay, this is really taking too long. Well, you will have to suffer through it with together with me. Because this is fucking well taking too long. And I can't even, even do six at a time. It's like, we'll have this one minute wait before every single piece that we'll have to clump together. I think that does it best, waiting until it's fully cooled down. Yeah. Yeah, don't be frozen in place, I need another one. This is way... is taking way, 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 too long. Fuck the cat. It's really taking way too long. Okay, so I'll have to come up with stuff to do while I'm waiting for the thing to be put down here. The first one is always too strong. Ah, oh, come on. There really needs to be a way to make this faster. I don't see like uh, how the end game would be any fun if you you wouldn't do it, like wouldn't give it the ability to go faster, like a bit at least. Yeah, all of them want food. I know. I don't care because that part of the m the mini man game management is not the best. I don't know what happens if you leave it here too long. So I'm just doing stupid little work stuff things. Because it's just long enough that I don't really get to do it. Okay. So, um, over under to the loom. Doing some lumen. Not leak. Uh, One, two, three. Getting some linen thread out of that linen. And it's starting to cool down. Yeah, that actually works with the hammering, but it's actually taking an eternity. How many do I have? Four. I need two more. What else do we do? Some busy work that's fast. I don't know how we are on playing, so let's just do one of these. In the meantime... Ash planks, great. They were perfect. Uh, that's a perfect timing, even. Just have to wait for the first one to be cooled down enough. That's the second to last one. Put in the last one. Doing one maple lock. Maple locks were the most easiest ones of them. Yeah, I can even do them perfectly. Six of them. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I upgraded that. So the four was actually bad. That I got and was all excited about because I thought that I had done worse. But I actually had done worse. I had done as bad as I thought. The chickens are ready for some eggs, but whatever. We need to go to Albert, the shipwright.
Great, I just spilled my water all over my place, which is perfect. Oh, you've got a cow on your boat. That's neat. Do you know how, how why cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lack toes. They have only one toe, I know. Miss Cleaner. Uh, silver ore. Yeah, yeah, everything's great. Cost 3k, no problem. We're going that. Moon Solo will be the next thing. Electrum Sheet and Gold Ingrid. So gold, gold and pine. For uh, the next upgrade to go faster. Good. But we got the thing that lets us go through the mist. And while we're uh, sleeping through the night, I'm going to uh, close my game for a second to get rid of all the water that I spilled all over my table. Okay, ready to continue and sleep. Ah, look at that big pile of rubble that I have on my boat. <laughs> oh, the memories. Oh, this will be a difficult game to let uh, to lay to rest when uh, when I'm done. Ah, olive tree has to be watered again. But for now, we can start rediscovering new stuff. Not rediscovering, discovering new stuff. To get, get somewhere where we've never been before. Those two places, for example, where two quests are pointing us. So we're going to that bus stop, which tells us we need to go to this bus stop here. Ring the bell. I was dead. And the garlics. And the garlics. You shouldn't harvest garlic with a scythe, it's underground. With stuff that makes the garlic the, the main part of it. It's, it's underground. And put in some linen. Should have really bought corn seeds when I was near that shop. And we're arriving at the seal place. We're wanting to go over there through this mist barrier. There's a southern mist barrier too, I know that. We'll be going there also. Good time. Nope. Just bell of awakening time. That was the second bell of awakening. Everybody should be awake now. Let's go to obscure canopy. Ah, that was one of the possible places to recruit, um... Ah, that might, uh, progress the, uh, thing with, um... With where I thought, like, Larry Zelsberg would start doing a film with us. Um, might, that might actually be pr uh, progressed by finding the second person in Obscure Canopy. But I stopped normally engaging with every single... with every single uh, person we find everywhere because no, most of them don't really give quests and if they give then it's for stuff that's not essential to winning the game. So, okay. We are going in close towards where we want to go. We are still in Mistland. I think we are, we are running parallel to the mist border here most of the time, so that's why it's taking so long to go to, through the mist. Yeah, and we are at obscure canopy. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Obscure canopy. Okay, it's a two island thing. Remember that there's a right island to go to. And I'm seeing cotton. Might be white flowers, I don't know. But it looks a bit like cotton to me. It just looked like cotton to me. And I'm not the right person to ask for what plants look like. Or supposed to look like. That's limestone. Okay, we started at the leftmost island. We can go up here. This is a pine. This is a pine. We wanted pine. Um, Freaking daffodil. Thank you. 
We get our first pine logs, we get our first pine logs, we get our first pine logs here. Great. Yay. Young person, you stopped? Good for you, youngster. Berry's my name. I was on a hike looking for berries, but there's nothing here, which is odd. Berries go almost everywhere. When I walk, I always stop to pick up berries. I always leave some. Animals need to eat too. I'm on the older side of life and I have time to take hikes. Walk around in the woods. However, my feet grow tired easily. My legs aren't what they used to be. I could run after shoplifters. I could run a marathon. I could run for days. Now I just eat berries and enjoy the sun. Long story short, would you find me some berries? I like only three kinds. Straw, blue and raspberries. I see you on. Have a, have a berry day. Uh, yeah? Don't forget, I like berries, the good kind, don't go and forget. I have all three kinds of berries, don't I? Where are they? Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. I have all three kinds. I like berries, the good kind, don't go and forget now. That's a shenanigan. 15! You are crazy. That's the same place to go to. I will wait until she comes flying in. Leave me alone, please. I need fresh air. Okay. Come flying in. There for the. There for the. There for the. There she comes flying in. When she's stuck, that's the unstuck command, basically. And get ready to take this pine tree. Okay. And that's gold. It's the first time we had that. Gold. Actual gold. Actually gold. Goto, we need to plant some on one of those friends. Carrot seeds and fancy vases. Okay. So we need to go to the right. To where we started, which is here. I think we div uh, discovered everything. We need more berries. I don't think I'll come up with that shen shenanigan. I think we're done with that. Is that a double, double border basically now? Now going through a, a, a rock border. Interesting that they cross here. Like you could get the mist thing before the other thing, but that's not how it is. But it's Greymist Peaks where we were, we were supposed to go. We were sent there by Mickey and Bruce. They want to do something there. Let's look into that quest. Head over to Greymist Peaks. It's camping. They wanted to do camping. Oh! Atelus gun. Uh, we have to talk to Gustav and Bruce and Mickey about that. Talk. If you see your uncle, tell him that it was an okay meal. I've seen better in my day. Still, it was pretty good. Uh, Gustav. My time is quite valuable. However, I've noticed that a passenger is missing. What was his name? That bombastic friend of yours? Oh well. Uncle's gone. We don't bring him to the Everdor. He just goes by himself. Wow. Um. Interesting. Okay, we need to smell gold, and we also need to do something, uh, to do the locks, lock into planks. Greymist Peaks, there's stuff up there, there are like several places over there, there's a building over to the lower right. Camping in a Cadillac. Request. But I think they don't want to talk here. Nope, they just go with us. Interesting. Sometimes they walk all the way, but this time they t basically teleported. Would you look at that? This is what I'm talking about. The open air. Breathe it in, Scout. That's the good stuff. This reminds me. You should have these. Mickey says he doesn't want his. You can have mine too. We don't need them anymore. Listen. 
I think we need to rethink our role in our organization. If Mickey doesn't mind, I'm gonna need you to run point of on something, some things. You would have a more involved role, if you know what I mean. I'll fill you in when we go to that boat. I go do, go do your thing, you've earned it. We'll hang back. Two obols. This place has a thing. Oh. There will be a line coming back here to the boat. What do you sell? Onion, tomato, garlic. Yeah, onion, tomato, garlic. What are you? This is terrible. I don't even know how to go back. Okay, this goes over. Oh. Okay. I need to have started floating in the right time. So that allows us to go over to the left. Want to? Can talk to this guy. I've planned this gu this guy's a sightseeing trip for years, but after I set up camp, I realized my perfect behavior prevents me from uh, looking left. What a dumb mistake. Tell me, does this geyser look as impressive as it sounds? Yes. Why did you tell me? Now I'm even mad I can't see it. Because he can't look to the other side. Weird. Okay. Where does this stand? Okay. Over here. Okay, we can take this up. Why didn't you go up the other one? Okay, this is a perfect place to start. How would we go up further? That's way not enough. Oh, that's so close. That's so close. Not like this, though. Oh, almost. Not like this. Okay, we got it. Okay, do we need to move over or not? Okay, not this side. That's too late. Okay, that led me to something. At least, okay. Too late. Too late? Fucking hell! Okay. Have to do this again. Too late. Okay. Try to go here. Okay. Reaching the next place. Okay. Okay. What do we do here? Oh! I didn't think about that possibility and it's a good thing that it happened basically on accident. Okay, we can reach here. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay. Making the jump. Your pilgrimage is over. Oh, what an incredible single-minded persistent journey this must have been. You finally reached the holy shrine of St. Decius. St. Decius? 
Thousands of years ago, Saint Decius anointed the statue. It is foretold that one day Decius's chosen one will be bestowed with his blessing and they will rescue all of us from the tyranny of this existence. Oh, but you surely already know that. Why else would you have come all this way? I'll leave you to your prayers. Blessings of Saint Decius upon you. I'll take the dash. R left trigger to leap forward. And we already have one extra over. But we need one more, at least. So soon we'll have something here where we need that St. Decius thing. Question is, is it to the left or to the right? So we are the chosen one. What a wonderful day it is. Pretty soon we'll all be saved. Walk over to that cliff over there and let St. Decius talk to you from above. Ooh, that was close. Is he a geyser, geyser too? I don't see one. Okay. 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 Might be able to continue from there. From the most utmost position that we are able to acquire here and then to the right. And we reach this person. Your pilgrim. Wait, how did you get up here? Oh no, you talked to that other idiot, have you not? I'm sure he filled your head with all of this false idol nonsense. That one's dangerous, let me tell you. I bet he got you to make an offering to this his phony shrine, didn't he? Well, open your eyes, sheeple. This is the real shrine of our holy Saint Decius. Let's see its grandeur, see its geometric perfection. Yes, yes, make an offering here and a real blessing awaits you. What do you think? Only two ovals. Oh, you don't have enough? Well, of course. That charlotte and swindled them all out of you. Come back with more if you want to see some real miracles. We need to put in two more here. Okay. I don't think that's a wise decision. And I don't know where to continue. Did I find everything on this island? Did I not? Going down one floor? I'm not certain this is the right idea to go down here again. Okay. Okay, there's the end of the screen. Good to know. So let's try jumping down of not doing the double jump, normal jump. Trying to see where that next thing is down here. A lot of way down. Fuck you game. Really fuck you. Is this where we started? Aha. Uh -huh. Can't even go up that. So let's go back up there. I think we didn't really reach anything from doing that. And there's nothing down here. That's the last thing I wanted to try. Okay, that's a nice dash. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. Okay, so today we learned the dash. One more ability that really helps us getting around. Uh, we still need the power up that we needed at that one point. So our stuff is... Ah, okay, it's going out. And then it's flashing until it's ready again. Yeah, okay. Good. So, um, what else? Buck, we should talk to Bruce and Mickey again. We shall use the foundry at some point again. Uh, the Maxim Minimalist Clock. Let's see uh, what Buck's lair and the 
clock are costing us. The clock, gold ingots, crystal glass sheets and rose gold sheets. Mm -hmm. We have everything here. So gold. Basically, okay, we have everything we need for that. And we wanting to build Stanley's playroom. Turn the guest house into its own little tree, uh, tree house. Okay, we have that. We can build another normal guest house if we want to. And Buck's Lair of Wonders requires pine planks. So we can build everything we have available for us to build in the next episode. I can't look at the map yet. So uh, we're going to see tomorrow where our journey leads us next. Have a nice day. See you then. Mm -hmm.